Welcome to our channel. We are Recreational Retirement. We are Tim and Cindy Ford from Kentucky and we are allies. We are proud owners of a 35 foot 310 RL Alliance Paradigm. We hope you enjoy our channel. And remember, everybody needs a little R&R. &R. Hey everybody, this is Tim with Recreational Retirement. Today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the lights in the bedroom over the bed. As you can see, these push button lights that are here are very, very bright. And at night, whenever you're in the bed, uh, you want to turn these lights on they're almost blinding to the point where uh, we don't even like turning them on so today what i'm going to do is change those out for a new led bulb that has a warm light and it also has a blue night light feature on them so here we go so the covers to these lights just simply twist off and there are three screws underneath that you un unscrew So here you see the three screws that you unscrew. And this is the button for the light itself, as you can see. Extremely bright. Now we're going to take them off. With the screws removed, you're going to remove the wires from the ceiling. To get to these caps, you're going to remove the black and the white wire and tie the new light into that. And then screw that back up to the ceiling and it should work. So this is the light installed. I have to say that the hardest part was getting in the right position to drive the screws. Here you can see the light on. And as you can, I'll demonstrate that it has a dimmer condition. You just touch and hold. See it dimming there? That's its dimmest condition. And it has a blue night light. So that's off touch it again and it goes back to its dimmest condition or wherever you had it set prior to turning it off. It makes a huge difference. On top of that, the lights are a warm uh, light instead of a bright LED type light that's so blinding. They're a whole lot easier on your eyes. I'll show the install condition of both lights put in here in just a second. Now here are the bulbs installed. You can tell it is a much warmer light than the bright LED lights. Not nearly as blinding. They operate independently of each other. So you can see I can dim the one side of the bed while the other side's still bright. And that's the nightlight feature. So here we are on the other side of the bed. You can see the nightlight feature going on one side. Over here I'm gonna dim. see how dim they they go this prevents you from getting blinded i'm gonna turn this on the night light feature now we have that beautiful blue light that i love if you can tell from any of my photos turn it off turn it back on it stays on the very dimmest of features hit it again back to blue light there you go that's all i have for today Now I'm going to show you how I refit the lights over the uh, recliners in the living room with the lights that I use in the bedroom. Now these lights are a little different and if they have a bezel that's made out of aluminum that snaps into the ceiling. But I was able to refit that bezel and still use this light. And you can see the results there and I can still dim and go to night light on these lights. And when I use the switch on the wall, it turns them off. When they come back on, they go back to the position that they were in. I'll show you how to do that now. First thing you have to do is take out the bezel. And this is not a difficult task. You just have to pry it down and uh, pop the little springs out of the back and I'll show you how that's done. So here we go. 
I use the good old butter knife method. Stick it in between the ceiling, get you a grip, and just pull it down. And these little springs will pop out, and now you have the light out. And these are the springs that I'm talking about. They just flex up and down. And that's what holds your light into the ceiling. They're important, so don't lose them. I'm going to show you why in a minute. So what you're going to get is a light. And this is the back of that light that I just removed. Here's the two spring clips that we talked about. And there are four screws that holds on a backing plate that looks like this. And that backing plate has an LED strip that's self-adhesive that's screwed to the back of that light bezel. You take those all off and then you have to modify the light that I used in the bedroom to go into this bezel. I'll show you how it's done. So there's the back of the light with the spring clips removed. Now I'm going to move the bezel. And so with the bezel removed, what you see is this piece of luminescent paper, I guess you would call it. And you can see that the light strip is self-adhesive on the inside of that bezel. We're going to move that bezel in this piece of glass, and all that comes out together. I'll show you. And so this is what you get when it's done with. You can see the self-adhesive light switch, the bezel, the spring clips. Here's that glass piece and that luminescent piece of paper, I guess you would call it. And this is the aluminum bezel that's left. So this is a light that goes into the bezel and that we used in the bedroom that I showed you earlier. Now this light in and of itself won't fit inside the bezel because it has this protruding LED uh, or light ring. It's plastic. It goes around the outside of the light. You need to grind that off down to the silver spot. Now... You can do this with a grinder or with a um, sandpaper uh, wheel or something like that. I just choose to use my old fashioned grinder, a two wheel grinder, and grind this down to that silver bezel and it pops right in. I'll show you how that's done. Now again, just using my old fashioned two wheel metal grinder that I use to sharpen saw blades on or lawnmower blades on, I've ground down the plastic around the outside to where there's no lip. As you can see here, just very little lip. Doesn't have to be perfect because it's gonna be hidden. You can see where I took a little bit too much there on the bottom. But then this drops right inside the plastic bezel and fits perfectly. Now we use these clips to pop them back on and hold the light back in place. I'll show you how that works. So now you can see I've got the clips back on and the little wings here is what holds the light into the bezel. And there it is on the install condition. Now there's a slight gap around the inside of the light, but it's really not a problem and it's not uh, aesthetically too bad. So now we're gonna pop it back, put it, put it all back together and pop it back in the hole and show you how they work. Now here are the lights on the install condition. You can see there is a slight gap around the edge of the light. But the great thing about them is they work independently of each other. So here I can dim this one. As you can see, and leave the other one bright. Or I can turn on the night light, leave the other one on. Dim this one. Or turn on the night light. And there you have it. It was very simple. A little bit of ingenuity, a little bit of uh, grinding on the grinding wheel, and you got it made. That's all there is to it. That's all I have for today. Thanks, guys. Oh, they also work on the switch on the wall 
and they turn back on to their final condition where you left them before. Here you can tell the difference between that warm white color that we have on the new lights that we put in and the really bright color that you have, uh, the white LED color that you have on the other lights. I think this shot you can really tell. These are the bright white LEDs that are out in the main part of the coach. And now I'll put the warm LEDs in this part of the coach. Makes a big difference at night. It really does. And they're, they're not blinding. So when you're sitting in the in the recliners, uh, watching television or whatever, when these overhead lights are on, it's very, very bright. Now that I put these in here that are adjustable, it's uh, they and they dim and they can on, I also put on the night light. It makes it very pleasant to sit there and read. Hey guys, it's Tim again from Recreational Retirement. The modifications that we're doing to our Alliance 310 RL are making it feel like home more and more every day. I hope you can use some of these ideas as you move on down the road. If you like the modifications that you've seen here, please smash the like button and hit subscribe as we'll be putting more videos up every day as we do other modifications to our Alliance. And as usual, make sure you have fun times, safe travels, and I hope you find that cheap diesel along the way.